strikes by my window It's my chest right in the morning Like a warning Could have slept here for days Okay, we had breakfast, we got ourselves together. We're going to go to the library, return our books, get new books, and books. you want more space books? Okay. And then we need to run to the store. So if you watch Tuesday's grocery haul, I did low spend and we did shop from home meals, which we're still doing shop from home meals. But one of the meals that I had planned, I need provolone cheese. I need provolone cheese for. And when I looked in the fridge, I had some. Well, when I opened it up, it was only like four slices. So that's not going to be enough. <laughs> um, so I am going to go get some provolone cheese so that way we can still do that meal because I have everything else for it other than the cheese slices. So we will run to the store and do that. Um, and I need to get some sugar as well because. I used all of my sugar when I tried to do, um, I tried to make corn cob jelly. Unfortunately, it did not set up, which that's the whole point of me not sharing this stuff with, sharing my canning experience with you guys just yet because I'm still learning as I go. I'm watching videos and everything. Well, I put the pectin in at the wrong time by accident and so it didn't set. So I used all my sugar for that. So I gotta go get some sugar as well. Um, I let it cool, I tasted all my jars sealed. Um, one of the jars wasn't filled all the way so I didn't can it and I just um, have it in the fridge. Well, after it cooled and I put it in the fridge, the next day I tasted it and it just tastes like simple syrup. So it's still, we're still gonna use it. You know, I can add it into drinks and if anything calls for simple syrup, that's what we're going to use it for. It's just, yeah, it's like a little corny from the corn cobs, but it just literally tastes like simple syrup. So I'm still going to keep it. I'm still going to use it. And then hopefully, you know, I can get the hang of making jelly. <laughs> um, yeah, I can make like apple butter and stuff like that all day long, but dealing with the whole pectin, I'm not used to that. So I totally added it in at the wrong time and it was too late and I couldn't change it so it didn't set up but it is what it is but we're gonna head to the library and then we'll go to the grocery
Okay, we're back home from the store. Here's what I got. It was like right at nine dollars. Provolone cheese. Went ahead and picked up another Colby Jack. The peanut butter is on sale for 99 cents. They only had one. I grabbed the last one <laughs> for 99 cents. That's such a good stock up price. And I had planned on doing a stock up um, on peanut butter. They only had one. So we just got one long lead with jar of peanut butter. Got some sugar. And then Winston picked up some donut holes. And these are really good. Glazed sour cream donut holes. We've already ate some on the way home. They're really good. But I'm going to fix some lunch. We are hungry. I don't know what I'm going to fix yet. We'll see. Okay, we got... A few chicken nuggets and a few chicken patties. So this is what I'm gonna do. Pull these. Get these out of here so that way I can buy new. So we got chicken and mac and cheese. I pulled out a box of mac and cheese from the pantry. So we got seven nuggets. There's four in here, but I'm just gonna cook. Well, no, I'm gonna go ahead and get them off. So that got rid of both of those bags. You're my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space So brave and so stupid, just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless We were just broken, shattered, singing Lunch is done. Some people might be wondering why we have soap out here and it helps with flies. It doesn't take them completely away, but it does help with the flies. I don't like the smell of it. Um, we did this at the other house and it did work really well. Yeah. We are finished with lunch. I am so full. What? Winston is watching a little bit of TV. I'm gonna work on some YouTube for a little bit and then I'm gonna make some lemon brownies. Grover sent me or showed me this recipe and he was like, does that not sound good? And he loves lemon and I was like, yeah, we gotta make those. So since I went and got sugar today, now I have all the ingredients to make those brownies. So I'm gonna make those brownies. Um, today 
I'm super excited. I love anything lemon. It is just so refreshing, especially in the summertime. It's so good and he's the same way. So I'm gonna make those. But I wanted to um, work on the computer for a second and check up on YouTube stuff. And um, I've got a video that's about to go live. So I wanna make sure I've got everything good to go on it. Cause there's times where I'll say, I'm gonna link this and I'm gonna link that. And then I just totally forget about it. So if, if that ever happens, if y'all are like watching a video and I forget to link something, just comment and be like, hey, can you please link this? You forgot, cause it happens. I'm a real person, um, <laughs> it's real life. And sometimes I forget to link stuff. Um, but I do try to check, you know, back and I try my best, but like I said, I'm a real person, I'm a human and I forget and I have a busy life. So a lot of things going on. <laughs> so I try my best, but I do try my best. Um, you know remember everything but uh other than that i really don't think anything else is going on um winston's gonna be going back to school soon which is crazy he's gonna be in first grade is that not that's just crazy to me crazy um we haven't found out who his teacher is yet or like school supply list we haven't found any of that um i'll probably will do like a um like a back to school haul or something like that for you guys um, but when that time comes closer to, it's, you know, it's weird because, you know, you have the summer, which it's really short. Like this summer went by super quick, which I figured it would because it's our first summer back here in our hometown. Um, and so I just figured that it would since we were busier, you know, and having more stuff to do when, since we're around family and friends and, uh, it has, it has went by so quick. Um, but you still don't find, you know, you don't find out till like the 1st of August and then they start school, I think, I think they start school the 11th. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the 11th. So, you know, you only have like two weeks from when you find out your teacher to when school starts. So that's just crazy. So, so closer to time, we'll do that. I do plan on packing his lunch again. He asked if I could pack his lunch. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna film it unless it's like a day in the life and I just get up and vlog for that day. Um, if, uh, you know, if you've been here long enough, you know I started filming his lunches and there was just so much hate in what I packed my picky eater. Um, it just wasn't, it wasn't worth it. Um, I do still have my, you know, lunch box playlist on my channel. Um, so if you do, you know, need some lunch ideas, they're still there, but I don't think I'm going to film separate lunch videos. Um, like I said, it just wasn't worth it. <laughs> the comments were so bad and it, it does suck because, you know, I know there's a lot of mamas that have picky eaters like, you know, like my kiddo and, you know, I know it's inspiration, but people were threatening CPS and like, and like, you know, I get the thing all the time. Don't. Don't let comments bother you. They don't bother me, but there gets to a point when you just have to stop doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like people were constantly threatening and like saying I'm I'm causing I'm gonna cause them to be fat, obese, and like this and that. And I'm just like, mm -mm, I ain't taking it no more. Mm -mm. Nope. So I'm not gonna be I'm probably not gonna be doing lunchbox videos again. Um, I'm not gonna say I'm never gonna do them again because you know as he gets older he might you know, things might change, but, um, as of right now, I'm not going to be doing lunchbox videos, um, again, this coming school year, but I'm going to get, make sure all my stuff is good to go, um, check a couple emails and whatnot, and then I need, I really need to wash and lotion my new tattoo, um, if you missed my stories on here, or if you missed my Instagram, I got, Luke and I both got a new tattoo, last Friday um the 15th we both got a new tattoo I that's what he he got me that for my birthday and which my birthday is the 25th but um we each got each other tattoos for our birthday so um his I'll try to put a picture up on the screen of his but mine in case you have missed the stories this is my new one so if you're new here I have this one and I have this one. And I have talked about the meaning of these um, in a 
video. I will have it linked down below for you guys. It was actually a Q&A and they had asked um, like what tattoos I have. Um, so I've got both of these, which I do have, I've got more. One on my back, one behind my ear, one on my wrist. But like this arm I'm working on, I'm going to do a sleeve. But these are the most meaningful tattoos to me. Um, you know, when I first started getting tattoos, it was just, you know, it was fun. It was a way to express myself. But these three right here are like the most meaningful because these have come out, you know, when I've really been in my deepest depression, um, either in it or have come out of it. Um, and so this is just another one that's super meaningful to me. So, um, the water that you see is her tears because, you know, she's sad getting through life and you have to keep pushing through, fight through the tears to keep your family because these are our birth flowers. This one's mine. This one is Winston's and that one's Luke's birth flowers. So, um, you know, life may be hard and, you know, you got to fight through your mental health and struggles in life and the tears and the pain is worth it to keep your flowers, your family together and blooming and, you know, um, you know, keep pushing through. So that's what I had several different ideas that I wanted. And then everybody was like, well, what are you going to get? And I just kept saying, I don't know. I don't know. And then when I got in there, I was like, yeah, okay, this is what we're going to do. So he took my two different pictures and combined it. And then we did we did this, so, and I've had a couple of people say like, is it done? <laughs> I guess some people like expect there to be color. Um, I had thought about doing watercolor on it, like for the flowers, but where the lines are so thin, um, it wouldn't come through as well. So I just wanted to focus on the main purpose and the reason behind this tattoo. Um, so we just left it black and white and absolutely love it. Um, it's still healing, so. I got it the 15th and it's the 19th when I'm filming this. So it looks pretty good for it to be on, you know, a few days old, but I need to wash it and I need to lotion it again. But that's my newest one. I do plan on getting a full sleeve, but that's what we're working with right now. It's a slow process. If you've got tattoos, you know how expensive they can be. So, um, but I'm really happy with it. And like I said, these three for me is just, you know, you know, expressing my mental health and y'all know I struggle with mental health, the depression, anxiety and all that. And, you know, I've shared that before on my channel with, you know, cause I don't, I feel like a lot of people that struggle, they keep it to themselves. And yeah, I do keep it to myself. Um, you know, I don't just straight up come on here and tell, you know, everything. Um, but y'all do know I have struggled, you know, I do struggle. I struggle with it every day depression and anxiety, um, but, you know, I do have a purpose <laughs> here on this earth, um, you know, providing for my family, and, you know, even though I struggle every single day, I still have to push through, and they're the reasons why, you know, plus myself, but my family, so, but I love it, so I'm on to get this computer work done, and then we'll go make some brownies. Okay. I got a new little tripod thingy, and I'm not sure how I feel about it, but that's what y'all are on. <laughs> so I got out my, where's my whiskey whisk thing? Hold on, I gotta go get it. Okay, we're back, I got it. So it says cream together your butter, soften butter, Soften the cream cheese, cream it together until it is smooth and whipped. Okay, I did this butt backwards, but it's all gonna come out in the wash. So I'm gonna add in Y'all know I'll have this recipe linked down below for you guys. If you've been here a while, you know I don't give full recipes. It's not my recipes. 
even if it's from a cookbook or if it's from a blogger because out of respect for them, if I gave you full recipes, then you wouldn't need to go to their website or purchase their cookbooks. So they would be losing out on money that they have worked super hard for, either creating their websites, creating their blogs. Bloggers get, get paid by clicks. So if I link a recipe to you guys, like if I don't give the measurements, like for this one, I didn't give exact measurements. So y'all don't know actually how to make it. So you have to click the link to go to their website to find this recipe. So that's how they get paid. Or if I share a cookbook recipe, you can either find it online on their you know, website or uh, purchase their cookbooks. So out of respect for them, I guess, cause like I'm a recipe creator, so I wouldn't want somebody to give away my recipes and then me not get full credit. And you know what I'm saying? So y'all can find the recipe in the description box. So I'm gonna mix these two together. Then we will add in our eggs and um, lemon juice. Okay, we're gonna add in lemon juice. Now this does call for food coloring, you know, to give it that yellow lemon color clearly. But I'm not gonna add it in. It's not gonna make a difference. It's just gonna help with the look of your brownies. So here's what the batter looks like since I didn't add the, the food coloring in there, but I did taste it. It's got a nice lemon flavor to it. So I'm gonna add it in. So mine will look different than the picture since I'm not adding in that yellow food coloring. But like I said, the yellow food coloring is just for the look of the brownies. Not, it's not gonna add any flavor or anything like that. So, and then we're gonna bake these at 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes, and then we'll make a glaze. So we're just gonna mix together the powdered sugar and some lemon juice to make the glaze. And then we're just gonna pour that over top of the brownies and let them finish cooling.
Okay, y'all. Y'all know I'm real with you guys. I had to come outside because the guys just got home and Grover is asleep on the couch. Y'all, these are nasty. Oh, no, don't make them. Like, look at the texture. I don't, I don't know. I followed the recipe to a T. The only thing I didn't add was the food coloring. And like I said, that's not gonna make a difference in the texture. It's just in the taste. Ooh. But this is not good. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have Grover taste them before I throw them away. The icing is fine. It's just a, your basic icing. But look at that. I don't know. Mm -mm. Okay, y'all. It's the same day. I just had to change my shirt because I got lemon all over it. But we're going to the store and I'm going to do a retry. And I'm going to make a different recipe because that one was disgusting. <laughs> that was not it. Mm. So gross. I don't know if it's because. So I feel like the recipe either should have been self rising flour or it should have had some sort of baking powder, baking soda, or salt to help activate with the all purpose flour. So I don't know if there's a misprint there or if it's just supposed to be that nasty and some people like that, but that is not it for me. So we're gonna try again. I'm hoping that the Dollar General has um, a lemon cake mix because I'm gonna try to do um, lemon, like the lemon ooey gooey bars. I make my regular, um, you know, like the traditional ooey gooey bars but I'm gonna do um, a lemon version of those and they should be good. So hopefully Dollar General has the lemon cake mix that I need. Okay, well never mind. Dollar General does not have anything. Not one cake mix, not one can of icing, not one bag of sugar, one box of sugar, nothing. They don't even have like a speck of a baking aisle. I'm not going to another store, so we will just redo that recipe later. <laughs> when I go and do my regular weekly grocery haul this coming Friday, I will get a lemon cake mix and I will make the lemon ooey gooey bar. But I just wanted to try that recipe since that's the one that Grover found. But I'm still gonna let him taste them. But y'all, I'm telling you, it's not it. But headed back home, it's almost time for me to start cooking dinner. And that's it. That's it for the rest of today. Um, tonight I'm making um, French onion bake. I have shared that a few times on my channel, so I will have a video for that link down below for you guys. Um, but that is it for today. That's all, we, that's all she wrote. But I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us today, seeing part of our everyday life. Sometimes it doesn't go as planned. Recipes don't go as planned. <laughs> but I share all that with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.